Hello everyone, welcome back to Slime Rancher, and this is the Cheddar Fox channel where you will find clean gaming and building content. Today we're playing Slime Ranchers and finding out what is at the end of the glass desert over here. Wait, uh, oh, I don't remember which way is which. I think it was this, yeah, over here to see what this thing is. I got the top and bottom of this map mixed up because it's like, it looks kind of similar. But anyway, uh, we're also going to be doing some range exchange and helping out Machi Miles in Ogedin or Tiz. So, let's do so. Victor Humphreys, have you ever seen Danjo's tiger? Of course not. You can only hear it. Pardon me, that was a joke. I don't get it. Okay. Anyway. Two and nine. Hmm. Well, Tabby's gonna be easy to get. So let's start with them. Oh yeah. And then I also, while we were gone, decided to uh, sell a whole bunch of clerks at the port market, which I had been saving up in the silo for a while. And got a whole bunch of cash. So, yeah. So, all right, we got all the tabby plurts we need. Let's go get those fires. All right, you guys can stay here. And look at that, it's daytime, so the phosphor largos won't spawn. Nice. Sometimes I wish I could bring a cute berry home and eat it myself, you know? Probably taste something like a strawberry. Considering it looks somewhat like a strawberry. But you know what? Flavors, when it comes to fruits, even the ones that look similar, don't tend to taste similar. Like, a blueberry doesn't taste at all like Saskatoon. So, I don't know. Man, getting to the last desert takes like a minute or two. Finally at the Warp Depot, though. Warp, 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 You ever notice how fast those clouds are moving? Crazy. Kill the ginger. Nice. Guess we gotta wait till a firestorm happens. In the meantime, let's take a look around. Collect some fancy stuff. See if I can find another build of ginger too, because that'd be awesome. So there's any hints of hands up here? No, just some tangle slimes. What in the world? Oh, Tabby Dervish looks weird. It's like dark gray. Oh. Like, I thought that was like a texturing bug, but apparently not. Interesting. I'm finally getting the layout of this half of the ruins into my head. Oh, that's this guy sounds sparkly. I think all the sparkly type things have their own sparkly sound. So it's like the gilded ginger has one sound. Actually, I don't think silver parsnip has a sound. But anyway, it, I guess it's technically sparkly too. Ah. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because a search of the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. H. Hmm. The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. But then, there's that other door. I meant, Theora and I fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. H. Hmm.
Once again, both doors lead to the same place. I think you need some better analogies, bro. But I see your meaning. I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land. One last time, leaving those little notes for you. It was the time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached the monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped onto the platform, my heart racing. Ooh. Oh, look, silver person. Wow, you spawned so fast, it's making my game lag. But I didn't go. I'd packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Theora's ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before, never known anything like it. It's time that I got to knowing what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking. Every now and then, it might surprise you. H. Is there a way to activate this warp depot? It's like a dusted over light bulb thing. Like what would have been connected. It seems that the roof has caved in and damaged it. Hmm. Might not be able to warp anywhere anymore. Yeah, this pipe is, uh, broken. Hmm. That's a problem. Maybe he should have fixed it up. So that's someone else would have the opportunity to do it. No, it's just a prickly pear. For a second, it looked like a prickly pear and a parsnip all together. Well, this is a weird little structure. Now, I actually found a secret with this place last time I was here. Don't remember where exactly it is. Where was it? Because I know somewhere around here. You know, now I'm wondering if it was actually here or if it was on the Ash Isle over here. Pretty sure it was here. What the... Okay. Don't know what happened there. Hmm. I canceled it. That already expired. All right. Well, who are we gonna go with? How about I'll get in? Working on a new recipe. Help me out. Ooh. Pogo fruit, carrots, and okay. Well, I think I got all those on my farm, so that should be pretty easy. All right. Two cute berries. I'm too special. You know, since we have all this cash, let's like buy everything in here. Starting with you. Yes. Utilities, drone. Fabricate. There we go. Now we have two drones. So let's go place them where we need them. Uh, where's a good place? You. Utilities, install a drone. Oh, I can pick up gadgets? I didn't know that. Target, veggies, source. Can I, do I have to choose a source? Yes, source. 
gardens into auto feeders. You have like veggies right there. There you go. go. Do your job. Feed these guys up. Put the plorts into. Oh, you have to choose the plort type. You can't just say plorts. Oh. Interest. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, plorts. Source. Plort collectors. Wait, you can just free range. Okay, interesting. Destination. Silos. Activates. Um. Well. Let's see if I can do Victor Humphreys again. Same one. Oh, okay. This time it's different. Rocks and rads. How much time? 20 minutes. Got it. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got enough of those guys, too. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Fastest way home is... Teleporter. Ta-da! There you go. Ah, uh, you know what? 7Z Rewards Club. Let's upgrade. Not enough new bucks. All right. Ooh. Star Mail. Casey. Hi, Bea. There's another tour coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags and thinking of you. Maybe this is how it felt while you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowd. If that ever happens, I'll promise to sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. Casey. Slime Enrichment Devices, now on sale. The 7Z Corporation. Miss LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle 1. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. We call this new technology Slime Toys. Slime Toys can now be purchased from the shop we have just installed on your ranch. Please excuse the excessive pauses in the last sentence, but our technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation and we did not wish for our claim to be inaccurate. The 7Z Corporation, giving robots time to do their job right, one sentence at a time. The 7Z Corporation. The next day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. She thought about Hobson and Fiora and the adventures she had exploring the far, far range, but most of all, she thought about Casey and wondered where life would take her next. Oh, please don't say that you'll go. My heart can't bear the news. Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away if you do. And will you know when it's through? When you find what you're looking for, will you know what to do? A thousand light years away when you do. Oh, when you do. And I should have said it before you were gone. Cause I'm kicking myself for waiting oh so long And I should have held you near Every time I fear It's 
Somehow you just wouldn't feel the same So please don't say that you go My heart can't bear the news Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away If you do Oh, if you do Well, I'm just sitting here gazing up at the stars Let's say we pick one out and call the whole thing ours And even though that light we see Ain't the same for you and me Well, you'll know and I'll know But you and I can't even be a thousand light years away And I'd still love you Oh yes, I do I love you For every pioneer on every new frontier, be brave, be bold, and stay wiggly. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, we've technically beat the game by getting to the end of the glass desert. However, though we've reached the qualification that counts as beating the game, there's still plenty of things we haven't done. Like, you can technically beat the game without like ranching more than a few slimes so though we've technically beat the game there's plenty still to do and that is what we will continue doing so let's see here now that we did all this ranch upgrades we have this slime toy thing which one could use it the most probably our mosaic slimes mosaics and dervish or mosaic dervish guys could use some slime toys. They'll be happy longer with this. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now we have this fancy archway. Oh, and a whole bunch of crystals growing on the roof, too. Wow. Cool. Are these wire soluble crystals? Yeah. Fancy. Miles, here we come. I think I'm starting to get pretty good at this. How many do we need for the coop? Another like 400. Well, let's get this pot started. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, no way I did. Oh, static clinger. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, is it contagious? Ooh. Okay. Slime key. A single spare key just in case you seem to find the last one. What? Oh, it's an upgrade. Oh, you know, it probably has something to do with the... Uh, door that has all the treasure pods in it that I was talking about earlier at the what you call it, which I still like. I, I should probably pay more attention to what I'm doing here because I'm not doing too great. Got a minute left, and we still like. Yeah. Oh, I didn't go this way. Is there a ring thing up here? Yes, there is. Ah. Oh. Not quite. Well, 50 isn't too bad. There we go. And number two. Let's see if this one gives me a boost like the other one does. 
Oh, it does. Oh, look at that. Can I get up here? Can I get up here? Oh, I can! Not much help, though. There's nothing really up there. I gotta come through here. Whoops. Gotta come through here. Oh, they fell in the water? Lose all these quicksilver ports. That would have been so annoying. time but yeah that wasn't too bad nice all right let's see if we can go help out or get in too you become. Ah, ooh, look at that right by this front. Let's see if we can get 30. Kind of surprised. I still didn't see any of the mud ball things they use these things for. No offense, but you guys look scary. Okay, moving. Chill. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up these crooked over and get out of here. I gotta go. So fast, and there's more than two. That's not really practical. What are you doing? Ow! Okay. Oh no! 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 Oh! Knocked out. Man. Note this elf. Don't go at night. Fashion pod remover. I didn't even know you need one of those. Hmm. 
All right, gotta try this again. This time it's morning though, so should be any phosphors around, and that will make it easier. So I'll get rid of like a fifth of them. Like a mini one, but still a cocodoba. Hey, I found a mud ball thing. Stop it! You know, the first time I was here, they didn't seem to do much damage, and then, like, every was Okay, moving. Chill, bros. Get out of here. Probably helps if I actually know how to aim. Spawning more of them? Okay, obviously there's an, probably an infinite amount of them, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Man, getting Cocodobas is dangerous. We will get some Cocodobas, enough to make a pie. Even though a Cocodoba pie would be real weird. Cocodobas, just like that. No, not sticking around here. Nice. I got another one right here. Oh, we got so many. There's another one. Man, it's like they were invisible the last few times or something. You know what? We could totally get more Kokodobas because we haven't been here now. much for all those cocodobas. You're off to a great start. The miracle mix I developed for my own crops is now available to you in your garden upgrades. Miracle mix prevents fruits and veggies from rotting. And don't worry, I make it all with natural minerals, good healthy stuff. But I didn't always think this way. I used to run a huge company on earth that made all kinds of insta foods. Quick, cheap materials made of nothing but chemicals and preservatives. We made billions, but we weren't making real food. Instead, our food engineers worked to design products. It wasn't right. So I came to the far, far range to grow my own wholesome food with my own two hands, and I wanted to leave my er life on Earth behind. But enough about that. On to more cocodobas. If you get me a bunch more, I'll give you the spe or the specs for a deluxe upgrade to your gardens. Get it to me, Beatrix. I've got a new recipe here and need loads of cocodobas to get it just right. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. How are you doing? You're out of water. Grab some water. 
Then we need to figure out what this la- Oh, yeah? Uh, I just remembered something. There's one more Gordo we still haven't popped. That should be a Lenny. Alright. Let's go feed the last Mosaic Gordo. Uh, no. Got it, Golden Lord. Nice. Kill the ginger. Look at that, kill the ginger. Chill after there. Um, hmm. I bring it with me. Um, what? Where'd it go? I just checked it somewhere. There it is. Bro, I checked that thing far. You can eat that? Okay. Alright, now I'm charged up. Mm, no, not quite. Oh, I just barely made that. I'm that was like fluky close. And here he is. Okay. Another gilded ginger. I'll leave that there for the moment. So I shouldn't need to feed you first. Can I feed you from the backside? Didn't think so. Can I squeeze through? Also don't didn't think so. How do I get up here? I'll grab that good little ginger in a minute when I pop this gordo. So he's up here somewhere. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's a rock. You can even hear the Gilded Ginger from here. Unless there's another one up there. Don't want to fall down there. What's this way up here? I can jump on top of this tree. It's harder to get than an Oka Oka though, so we'll do that. Alright, let's get home and end the episode. So, that's the end of today's episode. If you liked the video, like and subscribe, and stay tuned by ringing the bell to get notifications of when the next video comes out. And you might want to do that because next episode we're going to be looking for that vault that I was looking for today and couldn't find. And we're going to be finding it. So stay tuned for the next Slime Rancher episode. And by the way, there probably will be some other game episodes in between. But yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. And this is Cheddar Fox signing off. See you next time.